Hello, it is Ryan, and I was on a flight the other day playing one of my favorite social spin slot games on chumbacasino.com. I looked over the person sitting next to me, and you know what they were doing? They were also playing Chumba Casino. Coincidence? I think not. Everybody's loving having fun with it. Chumba Casino is home to hundreds of casino style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere, even at 30,000 feet. So sign up now at chumbacasino.com to claim your free welcome bonus. That's chumbacasino.com and live the Chumba life. No purchase necessary. DTW, Revoid, we're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions 18 plus. Hello, and welcome back to the King of Hearts podcast by me, Kiara King. Hello, hello. My voice is a little bit raspy today. I sound like a man. <laughs> I actually went out last night. I'm extremely hungover, but we move, you know. I'm in my mid-20s. I'm allowed to make mistakes. Um, so today, 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 we are, boy, are we unpacking some things. We are unpacking your dating horror stories. Okay, but before that, I want to do our controversial quote of the week. This week's controversial quote is quite controversial, I'm not going to lie, but we're going to talk about it, okay? Insecure men feed their ego with multiple women. Now wait, I'm not going to be sexist here. It goes vice versa. Insecure women also feed their ego with the attention from multiple men. I know that's a strong one. Honestly, this couldn't be more true. I think it couldn't be more true. And it sounds really bad, to be honest. Like, insecure women feed their ego with the attention of multiple men. It's, it's kind of sad, but it's true because that was me. And I'm sure it might be you if you're feeling a little bit insecure. I used to be so insecure when I was younger, like 16, 17, 18, like... I would just need constant male validation because I was just so insecure. I needed the attention to like make myself feel whole. And I feel it's the same for men. Like insecure men need to feed their ego with multiple women. So, you know, if you're seeing a guy and he doesn't want to commit, for example, because he wants to have his cake and eat it, because he wants to date multiple women, most likely he's an insecure man or a narcissist. And it's same, same with women. There's this really interesting story about this guy and he takes his two female friends. They're exactly equally the same gorgeous, equally 100%, 10 out of 10 stunning female women. He takes them both to the bar. At that bar, one of the girls is getting so much attention from guys. All the guys are hitting on her. She's getting all these men trying to trap her up. Meanwhile, the other friend is getting zero attention. Now, why is that? That is because, as this guy describes, because he's friends with both of them, one of the friends is actually quite insecure. And whenever they go out, she's always complaining about how she looks. Oh, I don't look pretty. Oh, I don't look nice. Oh, I don't look pretty. Or I don't like what I'm wearing. Oh, I don't like my hair. I don't like basically showing signs of insecurity that she's not comfortable with her body or maybe comfortable with her mind I don't know and she was the one who was getting more attention from men because men can feel that energy men can feel when you're needing that external male validation when you're feeling insecure like they can sense it like when I was younger not gonna lie I was getting way more attention than I am now way more attention when I was 17 18 in the club I'd have so many guys coming up to me I was probably I don't know. I looked exactly the same as I do now. I don't look any different, to be honest. Men could sense that I needed that male validation. Whereas now I feel, okay, obviously I'm not perfect. I'd still get really insecure. And I think a lot of us can, as women, we feel insecure just because of the society we live in, constantly having to live up to those unrealistic beauty standards. But nowadays I'm definitely more secure in myself. And also because I have a boyfriend, I'm not like looking for anything. And naturally, because I have that energy of like, you know, I'm not interested. I'm more secure in myself. No guys come up to me anymore. And at first I was like, what is happening? Am I ugly now? Like, what is going on? Why am I not getting any attention from guys? But then I was like, actually, I think it's a good thing. But yeah, that was my controversial quote. And if you know players, usually players have a lot of girls on the go. And usually those players are actually deeply insecure. Um. 
If you love me, let me fly away Maybe I'll come back to you Maybe I won't Moving on to today's big, fat, juicy gossip slash topic. (laughs) Today we're going to be talking about your dating horror stories. They are horrendous. I've read some of them already and oh my god. Girls, what kind of men are you dating? What is going on in the House of Commons? Listen, I've seen some things, but these things that I've seen, I basically put an Instagram story saying, give me your dating horror stories. And, oh, oh, honestly, I could entertain myself for hours just reading what you guys have been saying because they are, they're pretty bad. So shall we get started? My boyfriend said he couldn't see me on my birthday because it was too much for him emotionally. (laughs) What do you mean? Like too much for you emotionally like uh, it's your birthday like they yes it's emotional it's an emotional day it's the day you were born of course it's emotional but why is that too much that you can't be seen honestly these men need to get they need to get a grip of themselves i don't understand next he presumed i was cheating on him i never did or would so he decided to burn all my clothes like on fire I don't know if men are, is there something in the air these days, but it's a bit of a weird one. Why are you burning this girl's clothes? Like, at least have a conversation about it. I don't know. Like, why are you burning her clothes so she can't go out with other men? Doesn't make sense to me. I hope he paid you back for those clothes, by the way. Next. The guy had a little bit of a stomach problem on the date. The guy had diarrhea and we spent the whole evening at the public restroom (laughs) oh god you gotta feel bad for him i've been in that situation too i'm not gonna lie we all get upset stomach sometimes it happens to the best of us all right god bless his soul poor man honestly i actually had this one situation when i was on a date and the poor boy (laughs) we were like 12 okay this was a really long time ago we're actually good friends to this day but we went on a date in the in the park in this like like, what is it? Like, you know, those like part, the ferry, merry-go-round. Poor boy. <laughs> he got really nut. He got really nauseous. And he vomited on my foot. <laughs> he vomited on my shoe. And it was really like, we like liked each other. But after that moment, you know, as you would, you would kind of be like, little get the ick a little bit. I love you so much now. Don't get me wrong. You're an amazing guy. He is an amazing guy, but it's just funny. We're friends now, but he was just so embarrassed. And like, we had to go back to his friend's house and like clean the vomit off my shoe. And it was like a whole thing. And oh, God bless his soul. If these things happen, okay? These things happen. Happens to the best of us. Next. I went on a date with this famous YouTuber and he asked me out on a few dates. And then a few days later, she was at uni. There was a fire alarm in my dorm. And during evacuation, I saw him evacuating my dorm with another blonde girl at 4 (laughs) a.m. on a Tuesday night. And he just passed me by, shocked, and he smiled. He smiled. In the same dorm. Boy, if you're going to cheat, at least in a different dorm or in a different city or somewhere else. But in the same dorm, like, you've got to be stupid. Or maybe he just wanted to get caught. Maybe that's why he was smiling. It's just a bit rude, not going to lie. Bit of a shock. Next. (laughs) Getting through these quick. These are really interesting. I'm not going to lie. Okay, this one. I've been getting this a lot. This is probably the most messaged DM I've gotten. And it's actually an issue. And I don't understand what is going on these days. Of course, I was dating a guy for a week. Only to find out later that he was married. I mean, what is it? about these married men going on dates with other women. In London, in Dubai as well, like all these married men are going out with other women. Like what? I don't get it. Where do you have the time? Where do you have the time to be married and then going out on dates with girls? Like I have so many friends that have been on dates with guys later to find out that not only are they married, but they have kids as well. And I'm just like, what is it with these men? Like, Okay, can you not just keep your 
dick in your pants. I'm really sorry to be a bit like, you know, explicit, but can you not just keep your dick in your pants and just be with one woman? Why? You're married. You're going on dates with three other women, four, maybe even with a prostitute. Like, it's, it's gross. It's embarrassing. Like, what are you doing? And if anything, it's just like, like, what's wrong with you? Like, have you got some deep, you've obviously got some deep rooted issues within yourself that you feel the need to like go elsewhere. Oh, it like pisses me off. This is the most DM'd message, the most popular message I've received. Honestly, I'm a bit like, I can't trust men. I trust my boyfriend, but God, you can't trust them 100%, can you? You never know. Don't worry, Turkish guy, you're fine. We're just going to take a pause there and we'll be back after this break. With lucky landslots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to... Has anyone seen the bride and groom? Sorry, sorry, we're here. We were getting lucky in the limo and we lost track of time. <gasps> no, Lucky Land Casino, with cash prizes that add up quicker than a guest registry. In that case, I pronounce you lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Daily bonuses are waiting. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Hello, it is Ryan, and we could all use an extra bright spot in our day, couldn't we? Just to make up for things like sitting in traffic, doing the dishes, counting your steps, you know, all the mundane stuff. That is why I'm such a big fan of Chumba Casino. Chumba Casino has all your favorite social casino style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere with daily bonuses. That should brighten your day a little. Actually, a lot. So sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. That's ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. BTW group. Void or prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus. Okay, next. So we went on a date to a coffee shop, right? And instead of asking me about my life, he tried to sell me weed. Is that why you asked her out on a date looking for potential clients? It's a weird way to be looking for potential clients. I'm not going to lie. But he's a hustler. Can't blame him. Good luck to him in his future, but just don't do it on a date. Next. Okay, this is so weird. I read this one earlier. My ex would only eat his mum's food. So every time we went on dates, he wouldn't eat because his mum had cooked him something for when he got home. I have a problem with mummy's voice. There's something deeply wrong with them. Why are you so attached? What is it about your mother Unfortunately, boys, you can't date your mother, okay? I know you're in love with her, but you can't be with her. And you can't be eating your mother's food whilst you're dating someone else. It's just weird. All the time. Go on a date with a girl and be like, yeah, I can't eat tonight because my mum's cooked me something when I get home. How old are we here? 12? You're a 30-year-old man. Get your shit together. Next. Okay, this guy bragged about how many followers he has, not on Instagram, not on TikTok, on LinkedIn, the entire date. I mean, like, if you're going to brag about how many followers you have, yeah, that's an ick, okay? It's an ick bragging about how much money you have, how many followers you have. It's an ick. No one wants to know. No one really cares, okay? But bragging about how many followers you have on LinkedIn, LinkedIn. Who brags about how many followers they have on LinkedIn? Like, are we, are we at a board meeting? Are you looking for a job? What is going on with the LinkedIn following? It's a weird one. This. This is so bad. This is actually really sad, to be honest. Like, I can't believe there are men in the world. It's quite bad, right? I went on a blind date and he wanted to go to an Italian place. I ordered a Coke to drink and we ordered a pizza, a big pizza. I grab my Coke and the pizza comes out and I grab one slice and the dude moves the rest to his side and told me I was a little chunky. So one should be enough and that I should also wipe the grease off. I hope this man gets cancelled whoever he is. I'm actually shocked. Wiping the grease off pizza because you're a little chunky, babe. Girl, you can eat whatever you want. You can have two pizzas if you want. No man. I hate it when men tell you what you can and can't eat, first of all, because it's happened to me. Once I was dating a guy, 
I swear to God, I was dating a guy we were at, we were watching a movie and I, I love Percy Pigs. Okay, if you don't know what Percy Pigs are, they're basically a packet of sweets in England. And I was eating the bag of sweets, right? And I like take two or three, four. He grabs the bag from me and he's like, babe, no more. I think that's enough. So like, what? Sorry? I think you've had enough sweets. I, sa I said to him, I was like, you do realize I had an eating disorder when I, was, when I was younger. And if you said that to any girl who was a little bit sensitive or had not, who was like sensitive around food, that could have literally triggered an eating disorder for her. Like, watch your mouth, okay? Like, men can be so insensitive when it comes to food. Like, you should not be telling a woman how much she can or can't eat. Like, these things piss me off. Like, I said to that guy, I was like, I literally sat him down. I was like, don't you ever speak to me like that again. Don't you ever tell me what, how much I can or can eat, can't eat. I'm going to eat this whole bag in front of you and you're going to sit there and you're going to watch me eat that bag and I'm going to enjoy it. Don't ever speak to me about how much food I can or can't eat ever again. And it made me feel insecure. I was like, fuck, like I even found myself sometimes like, and this was even before he said that comment whenever we would eat sweets, like watching movies and stuff, like that he was watching me when I was eating the sweets. Like, you know how you can feel that someone's like watching how much you're eating? I know, I know you know that feeling. Like when someone's like watching how many like sweets you've eaten or like how much chocolate you've eaten, like when you're eating snacks and stuff. And I could just feel that he was like calculating how much I was eating. And then when he said that on top, I was like, you're done. Like I literally broke up with him. Then I literally broke up with him. I was like, no one's gonna make me feel insecure about food. Like. So girl, I can't believe this pizza thing. That is actually mental. Men, I cannot. You guys need to learn. Seriously, if you learn anything from this podcast, never ever comment on how much a girl can or can't eat. It's just, could trigger an eat, a serious eating disorder. And it's just fucking rude. Like, what's wrong with you? Oh, that's really like, oh, that like really pissed me off. Oh, 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 moving on. After seeing each other for about eight months, eight months is a long time. I've been dating my boyfriend for nine months and I feel like it's been a long time, yeah? He finally decided to tell me he got his ex pregnant. He got his ex preggers. <sighs> I've heard this story a lot as well, you know, and it's just, what can I say? It's just disgusting. Like, imagine if I was dating my boyfriend now and he turns around to me, he's like, by the way, I got my ex-wife pregnant. She's going to have the baby in six months. Where do you have the time to get another woman pregnant? It's also not that easy to get pregnant. How many times were you hooking up? Jesus. Next. God, again. I've been with the guy, the same guy, exclusively for seven months. And then he tells me, we're still figuring it out, babe. Basically saying, like, we're not together. We're still figuring out. After seven months, you're still figuring it out. You're still figuring what out? How many brain cells you have? Hmm? It's a bit weird, okay? How are you still figuring out if you like a girl after seven months of dating her? You've been seeing her every day. You've probably been sleeping in her bed. You've probably seen various areas which are very private. And you still can't figure out if you want to lock her down. Boys, you better learn. Honestly, I'm, I'm disappointed. Oh, this one's so bad. I'm smiling because it's like, I feel really uncomfortable talking about it, but it's so bad. <sighs> okay. A guy proposed to me just to take my virginity. And when he got what he wanted, he ghosted me after proposing, after proposing, after literally saying, I'm going to marry you. Imagine you're a girl who's waiting to have sex after marriage and he proposes and you're like, yeah, I'm going to spend the rest of my life with you and we're going to live together. And we're going to have babies together and I'm going to give you my virginity. And then he goes to you. I honestly don't have words. Like, I feel for you, girl. I feel for you if you're watching this right now. I hope you're okay. And I hope the guy, whoever's taken your virginity... Karma's, karma's a bitch, okay? Karma's gonna come back to get him. So don't worry, girl. Karma's coming for him, okay? Oh, okay. During our first date, he took my photos, paid the check. We had an amazing evening, you know, paid the bill and everything. When I get home, I get a message from him. He sends me his IBAN. 
Basically, he sends me his PayPal so I can transfer him my half of the meal. If you're going to split the bill, just be upfront about it. Don't be, don't be a coward and doing it after the date. What is wrong with you? After the date? Who does that? Who? To be fair, my ex did that. He actually did that. He's like, oh, can you transfer me some money for this? Because like, um, he took me to this, this romantic getaway, like three weeks after dating, okay? He's like, I'm going to take you away. It's going to be so romantic. And I'm like, oh my God, he's going to like impress me and take me away and everything. And like, you know, if a man's taking you away and like organizing it, or it's also a surprise for you, okay? You're like, you're thinking, yeah, he's going to cover it. Like, you know, that's fine. I don't mind splitting the bill, whatever. But you know, if he's saying, I'm going to take you away for the weekend, it's on me, like, you know, whatever. He didn't say it was on me because I found out later it definitely was not on him. In the room, there's champagne, there's balloons, there's flowers, there's chocolates, there's cards. Oh, he told me he loved me that night as well. That was the night he told me he loved me. So I was like, yeah. Oh my God, so romantic. We get to the end of the holiday and he's like, oh, I know this is like a really awkward, you know, like literally about to leave the, the place. He's like, do you mind if we like split the tab? Like split it. He's like, I've covered the champagne and the flowers and the, and the chocolates in the room. Like, don't worry, I'll get that. But can we split the rest? So I transferred him 600 pounds. I was like, at the moment, like, obviously I was like, yeah, okay, yeah, sure, fine, no problem. But obviously I was like, oh, I thought he was going to like, you know, take care of it. Especially if you're like wooing someone, you've only been dating for three weeks, you know. That was an interesting one. God bless him. I hope he's well and enjoying his life, but just not for me. Oh, this is a weird one. We had a first date. And when I arrived, he bought me underwear. He brought me underwear to the date. He bought me underwear and brought it to our first date. And then he kept cutting me off while we were talking. Blocked, she put at the end. Of course he's blocked. Who the hell buys a woman underwear for their first date? How vulgar is that? Oh my God. Ew. Like, okay, if you're together for like months and it's like a cute little present but bringing someone you don't even know on a first date underwear is a bit weird maybe he has an underwear fetish maybe leave it out on a first date bit weird okay we're gonna do two more i always get the same feedback from guys that i'm someone they'd want to bring home and marry and that i'm end game for them the end goal but they're just not ready for someone like me what do you mean you're not ready you're not ready to have a good girlfriend or you just want to fuck about for a bit before you settle down. What is it about that comment? Yeah, you're like literally marriage material, but like maybe in five years. Yeah, in five years, I'm going to be gone because you're not going to be in the picture, babes. Okay. I went on a few dates with a guy and we got on so well. Everything went swimmingly. He then went traveling for two months and ghosted me for a month. For a month. Firstly, who ghosts? Like, why would you go and spend every day with someone for two weeks? Why do men do this? They spend every day with someone for two weeks. They love bomb you. They're like, oh my God, babe, you are so amazing. Oh my God, we have so much chemistry. Guys do this a lot, a lot of narcissists. They're like, oh my God, you're such a nice girl. Like, we're getting along so well. We have this amazing connection. Like, you're so different. Oh my God, you're so special. And it makes you feel special. And then what happens? They leave the country and boom, you're forgotten. How was I so special yesterday and today you don't want to know about me? Well, do you know what? I don't want to know about you. I don't want to know about you. Don't waste my time. Well, I hope you have taken a little bit of insight there. And a lot of you ladies, because most of them were ladies giving me those messages. God bless your hearts. These men, the cheaters, the liars, the manipulators, the panty buyers, weirdos, honestly. There are some good men out there. Don't worry. It's just a diamond in the rough. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. And, uh, entertained by these awful dating horror stories and I will see you next week maybe I won't
Hey guys, it is Ryan. I'm not sure if you know this about me, but I'm a bit of a fun fanatic when I can. I like to work, but I like fun too. It's a thing. And now the truth is out there. I can tell you about my favorite place to have fun. Chumba Casino. They have hundreds of social casino style games to choose from with new games released each week. You can play for free anytime, anywhere And each day brings a new chance to collect daily bonuses. So join me in the fun. Sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. VTW group. Void or prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus.